hello and welcome to my youtube channel this is i blessing up all right in this video i'm going to be introducing you to pixel lab all right pixel lab is a very amazing app that is used to create um stunning designs you could create any design from scratch with this app it has so many amazing features and tools to get your design projects done simply so in this video we're going to be learning and exploring the use of some of these tools this is the app right here on my screen and this one is um it's is the black mode app is a premium version of the um the normal one which is on play store the play store one is blue so it's okay to have the blue it's still the same but this is premium one that's it's fast and then um, it has more fonts on it so um to get started we're going to be coming from up down like this all right so the first um tool i want you to look at is this plus icon on top here this plus icon is used to um, import objects, it imports elements to your design canvas. And what is your design canvas? Your design canvas is your workspace. Is your workspace. Once you download your PDF app um, and you click on it, this is the first thing you're going to see appear. So this plus icon is to add elements to your design canvas, which is your design space. So you could add a text, you could set a current date, you could add stickers, you could add a shape, images from gallery also, and then draw. You could draw with it. And then for this, you could save any project. You could save your project. Once you are done with your designs, you click on this. All right, you could save it as project and then it's, or you save it as image. What I do is I save both. I save both. I save it as image. I also save it as project. So if, if you want it to be on your gallery, you want to save your designs to your gallery, you click on save as image. All right. And then you could, you could leave it as JPEG. Let me leave it as PNG. And make sure it's always set at ultra. All right. This is the best way to um, save your images to gallery the second option which is saving as project save as project all right the essence of doing this is so that you would have it saved or stored to your pixel lab app for later editing purpose purposes so for this we will name it um church flyer we will name it church flyer all right it is now saved as all right so the next um, icon on top are looking at is chair share this one also it's used to you can share it to facebook share it to the same way just like the saving to gallery and image this one is automatically saves to gallery so for the fourth icon as well pixel lab has an amazing quote feature that you can edit and work with so another function here is the fifth of option on top is these three dots by the top right three dot by the top right there are many uh, options number one option here you can import image from guy let's try it out all right this is an image i want to import to my gallery this is the normal size the default size you can decide to make it square because you have to make it a youtube thumbnail size and not every different size okay, let's say we want, i want it as square shape so let me import it you can see but the thing is that when you import from this option you cannot move the background you cannot move the background to be static to be static. this second option is the full screen full screen is used to preview designs probably you want to see how the design will be after you after importing you can preview it with the preview option with the full screen option all right another one is this use image from gallery probably you want a background but you want to you want to capture it you want to capture it you can capture it from this you click on it you capture your image and it will be used as background and this one also you want to export you want if you want to export your image save your image save your design or anything the same way the same thing you can see all right so image size you can determine your image size from this you can if you click on image size you can click on this change from custom to square from square to profile picture 
you can change it to youtube thumbnail or anyone you can see it has reduced so this is the image size let me go back to this other um, option here is you want to come if you have a maybe a bug on the app you can report it to pixel app the developers of this app this recover auto saves probably you were designing and then you left the app you could recover back you could recover back those um those designs once you click on recover auto save so the next option is open those plp file those plp files are just designs that you've saved in time past and you want to open like the one i opened i saved before when you save them as as projects when you say your design as project you name them you can open them from open plp file and edit them back. so another option i want you to look at is this the next line this one here yeah. Okay, let me say i want to just do something okay so this option here is to go back is to replay the other one is to zoom in and to zoom out where you want to see an element well to zoom in and towards zoom out what should i do you click on it back to so another one is a grid option the grid option it helps you balance your designs alignments and all you could equate to 12 12 to 12 but once you start designing you understand the essence of these things just create balance your design and help you to understand the lines the lines where lines starts and where lines stop you you not overboard your designs make your designs anyhow all right so that's that about that another one is this layer option layer option tells you it, it shows the list of elements on your design canvas. Let's say I copy do me something, something. I have this plenty. I have plenty images and different text and everything. With my layout shot, I could touch anyone and edit them. I hope you get that. Let me go back. All right, this is it. You can also merge. You can merge with the layout shot. Once you click on the layout, maybe you have to option that you want to join them together click on sorry click on your layer option this is it you click on this down here you choose it one two and then you click on this match this third option here we have one two and three this third option here you click on it to merge them or you can see they have been merged so to the tools at the bottom i just talked about them a bit this will learn it more practically as you start for the first icon at the beginning we have five icons we have one two three four five so the first one has different background template that can be edited and work with all right you can work with these backgrounds and the templates and the um, the text the 3d and all and then the second option is this is for text anything that you want to edit anything anything that has that related to text you could bring up a new text here second option now you can edit from here all right you could delete it you could copy copy from here you can see when i once i click on the when i didn't click on anything not no option will be here but once i click on anything related to text the options will be out so another thing is you could bring to front you could bring to back you could work on the positioning you could send it to any position that you want it to be and another one is the relative position we have the middle this is this is the perfect center this is the, this is the center this is the perfect center once you click on one two it will be at the middle to be at the center too you can bring it to the to the extreme left extreme right down up center and another one is the size you could increase the size you could reduce the size you could increase the size See, this app is so so amazing and another one is the color let me bring out a coat let me see i'm working with the coat let me see i want to just work with color because of this color Right, the first step towards success so let me work now this is a text i imported the quotes follow the first steps towards success is taken when you refuse to be a captive all right so this is it there are different colors here you could change it to 
could also come here and get colors this is pink you can see this is green this is purple Col you can look also choose damning colors of some part of the sentence okay let's make everything white the first step to it let me make this sources orange to be a, let me make this captive to be red So you can if there is no if you don't have the color you want if you do, if you don't get it you can click on the plus icon there and then choose the color you want to work with. This is red. Find you first find yourself. So let's say I want to make this green. You know, this light green. It's now. So we've done color you can also add texture another is the opacity you can determine the brightness you can make it dim you can make it very bright so for rotation rotate it you can rotate it anywhere you want it all right and also this for this rotation you could do it with this option here this 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 icon that looks like smile I wish uh, Michael so you can turn it with the you can see. Alright, so another one is the mask. This is a very deep topic, it's very very deep. Then for the font, you could give it a font. You can give it a font. Let me give it this. It's okay. Alright, you can see how beautiful it is i'm giving it the font you can change the style you can make it bold you can see you can make it slant italic you can give it an underscore you can also remove this is for to remove the effect let's make it italic all right it's getting better and more beautiful I give it a background. You can also align to the left, you can align to the right, but it's better to be at the middle. Alright. So for the spacing, you can determine you can you can give spaces to the letters. You can see give spaces to the letters. You can you can join them together. Spaces to the left to the walls. The first you can also do line spacing for the lines. You can see if there are two clumsy you can give them like give them space so that it will be readable you can see how beautiful it is right now perspective you could determine also the way you want it to be all right you can see the first step to, you can see how it is right now so for others we have the 3d rotate the 3d text the 3d shadow and the reflection Time will not permit us to look into it, but as you explore the app, as you um, design, you will begin to understand the uses of those um, tools. So, to the third option here, it, this is also used to uh, import to the to the design to your design canvas. So, once you want to have your stickers imported to your design canvas, you could. Or you can do anything it has to do with importing shapes, importing images to your design. They also import from your gallery. You could import a shape, a design. You could import a shape, a design, a background, anything. You could import it to your gallery. Let me see how to make it this to come to the back. Right, you could import one of this. You can also lock to avoid movement, to avoid this from moving. You could also lock it, just click on the text and lock it. So 
so it will not be able to move. Only the background is moving right now. That's that about that. So the fourth option here now is for background. You could change the background color so anything you want, and this you can give it a transparent color. And this is image size. You could determine the image, the image size of your design canvas with this, and you could also import image image a default images as background for gallery. You can also get images from gallery to use as background, but and also for this could give your designs any kind of feel the way you want it all right we make it stripes could give it make it bright give it a vignette feel all right you can see you eat and how you want it saturation and all so that's that about pc lab the pc lab tools and the pc lab application so that's that about the pc lab app and its functions i hope you this is well detailed and and it's understood i remain i blessing please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video it really helps um click on the notification bell to keep receiving updates from this channel see you in the next video goodbye for now